Hi, my name is Ariel Ekwe. Hi, my name is Davina Ekwe. Hi, my name is Georgina Ekwe. Hi, my name is Noel Ekwe. These are my children. Good morning. And today I'm going to pray for us. Thank you, God, for letting us have this beautiful devotion that we're having right now. Please let this coronavirus go away, and we know that you are here with us. Amen. 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 Today, devotion is based on Jacob's journey. And our, the Bible reading is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 28. Davina, we would like you to read. Okay. Crunch, crunch, Jacob looked around. Was that noise a wild animal? No, it was only Jacob's footsteps on the dry ground. Jacob didn't see any wild animals, no people either. He hadn't seen anyone else all day. Jacob's father, Isaac, the son of Abraham, had sent Jacob on his journey. It's time for you to get married, Isaac said. Go visit your uncle Laban and marry one of his daughters. But uncle Laban lived so far away. Jacob had been walking all day, and he still had a long way to go, and now the sun was setting. Jacob yawned. This looks like a place I can sleep, he said, and here is a big flat stone I can use for a pillow. Lying by himself on the ground in the dark, Jacob might have felt all alone, but God knew where Jacob was in that night. While Jacob slept, God appeared in his dream. In his dream, Jacob saw a tall ladder at the bottom of the ladder, rested on the earth, and the top reached all the way to heaven. Angels went up and down the ladder, and God stood at the top and talked to Jacob. May God bless this reading in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Abra, I will also want you to read this for us. I am the Lord, the God of your grandfather, Abraham and your father, Isaac, God said the promises I made to them I am making now to you. The land where you are lying will belong to you and your family. Your family will be big, too many to be counted, and everyone in the whole world will be blessed through you and your family. God has been with Jacob on his journey all the time, even though Jacob hasn't known it. I am always with you, God said. I will take care of you everywhere you go. And someday I will bring you back to this land. I will do that. I'll do what I have promised. What a wonderful dream God gave to Jacob. When the dream ended, Jacob woke up. God is right here with me in this place, he said. And he was has been with all with me all along. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Georgina, can you say something? Say what? Something about our Lord, what God does for us. Does God love us? Yes. Good. Is God always with us? Yes. Great. Thank you so much, Georgina. <clears throat> Abre, what do you did you understand from that reading? I understand that God was always here with us. He's here with us right now. He's always here with us. Thank you. Davina? I what? understand that God is always like with us and like whatever we do, whatever like bad problems, whatever's going on. God is always going to be with us and like we're always going to be safe with God. Praise the Lord. That is beautiful. I want to read this book verse in the Bible, the Genesis chapter 28 verse 15. Behold, I am with you and will keep careful watch over you and guide you wherever you go, you may go. And I will bring you back to this promised land, for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. That means that God is trustworthy. Even as what we are going through with the coronavirus, God is able to do more than we expect, more than we think, more than we imagine. We are not 
we have not failed. This is just the beginning. God is taking us to from one level of glory to the other. And we should remember to praise him and thank him all the time. Because God is love. And God loves us so much. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Abra, can you not pray? Thank you, Lord, for everything you do for us. Thank you for making sure we don't get hurt. Thank you for protecting us from this coronavirus. Thank you for always being with us in hard times. Thank you for being with us everywhere we go. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. May we say bye-bye. Bye-bye.